हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम बैक टू जीके टुडे आई एम पला खंडेलवाल टुडे वी आर डिस्कसिंग दी टॉप एमसीक्यू व्हिच आर रिलेटेड टू दी बैंकिंग इकोनॉमी एंड फाइनेंस करंट अफेयर्स ऑफ 8 ऑफ फरवरी 2022 सो डीसीडीज इज बेनिफिशियल फॉर ऑल बैंकिंग एग्जाम एस्पिरेंट ओके सो नाउ क्वेश्चन नंबर 1 कार 24 फाइनेंशियल सर्विस प्राइवेट लिमिटेड हैज पार्टनर विद व्हिच इंश्योरेंस कंपनी टू प्रोवाइड मोटर इंश्योरेंस टू यूज कार्स बायर्स so the correct answer of this question is option a that is kotak mahindra journal insurance so recently what happens the kotak mahindra journal insurance company limited has partner with car 24 financial service private limited they have partnered to grant motor insurance service to buyers of the used cars so basically the car 24 financial service is a subsidiary of car 24 and kotak mahindra journal insurance is a subsidiary of kotak mahindra limited so under this partnership car 24 will be the corporate agent of kotak journal insurance it will offer motor insurance service to its customers apart from that the customer will be able to fully insure their vehicles with the motor insurance plans of kotak journal insurance do remember the headquarter of kotak mahindra journal insurance company situated in mumbai apart from that headquarter of car 24 financial service private limited situated in gurugram okay so now question number 2 With one hundred and twelve point three billion dollars in trade in twenty twenty one, which country was India's most important trading partner? So the correct answer of this question is option C, that is United States. So recently, the United States was India's top trading partner in the calendar year twenty twenty one with a trade of one hundred and twelve point three billion dollars. so basically the us is followed by china on second the value of trade between india and china was 110.4 billion dollar so in 2020 china was the india's top trading partner and the us was in the second rank in 2019 usa was the india's top trading partner and china was on second rank okay So now question number 3 which insurance firm recently created an AI powered voice bot to automate the process of filing automobile claims so the correct answer of this question is option C that is Adel's voice journal insurance so recently the Adel's voice journal insurance has launched an AI based voice bot that will automate the registration process of motor claims it is powered by the yellow AI platform This is the first of its kind service of AI voice bot in the insurance sector in India. Do you remember the headquarter of Adel Voice Journal Insurance Company situated in Mumbai? Okay, so now question number four: Who was named as the co-founder and promoter of Indigo, India's low-cost airline? So the correct answer of this question is option B, that is Rahul Bhatia. So recently the low cost Indian airline Indigo has appointed its co-founder and promoter Rahul Bhatia as a managing director of the company with immediate effect he is the first ever MD of Indigo because before this the company never had a managing director Rono Joy Dutt is the CEO of the Indigo so basically the board of director during its meeting approved the appointment of Bhatia as a managing director with the immediate effect subject to the approval of shareholders apart from that indico is back in the black with a net profit of the december quarter at rupees 130 crores and the profit comes after airline posted as a loss for a for a series of a state quarter okay do you remember indigo was founded on year 2005 its headquarter situated in gurugram okay so now question number 5 who will be the next governor of the norway central bank so the correct answer of this question is option a that is jan stoltenberg so recently the north atlantic treaty organization also known as nato jan stoltenberg will be take over as a norway central bank governor at the end of the year the appointment comes aim to improve tension between the west and russia Western nation fears Moscow has planned to plan to invade Ukraine which aspires to join the NATO alliance 
but Mr. Stolenberg, a 62-year-old trained economics, insisted that he would stay at as an NATO Secretary General until the end of his term in October. Norway Central Bank determined monetary policy but also managed the country's enormous sovereign wealth fund and the biggest in the world. Do you remember? The NATO was founded on year 1949. Its headquarters situated in Belgium. Okay. So now question number six. Which organization has just partnered with LIC to provide consumer a wide selection of term and investment product? So the correct answer of this question is option D that is Policy Bazaar. So recently LIC and Policy Bazaar have joined hands to offer a wide range of terms and investment product to the consumer. This affiliation aims at facilitating seamless digital distribution of life insurance products across the nation. Okay, do you remember the headquarter of LIC is situated in Bombay? The chairperson of LIC is MR Kumar. Okay, so now tell me who is the co-founder and CEO of Policy Bajar? Please write your answer in the comment section. Now, question number seven. Which bank has just partnered with Hero Electric to offer retail financing solution for the company's complete portfolio? So, the correct answer of this question is option A, that is Access Bank. So, recently, Hero Electric has partnered with Access Bank to offer retail financing solution for its entire portfolio. Customer can opt for two billers financing across Hero Electric network over a 750 dealers. Apart from that, Access Bank will be additionally offer customers loan amounts and flexible tenure for both customer and dealer. Do you remember the CEO and MD of Access Bank is Amitav Chaudhary. Okay, so now question number eight. As per the data official released by the Asian Development Bank, it provided a record of USD dash billion in sovereign lending to India in 2021. So, the correct answer of this question is option A, that is 4.6 billion. So, recently, as per the data official released by the Asian Development Bank, it provided a record of USD 4.6 billion in sovereign lending to India in 2021. This includes USD 1.8 billion towards the COVID-19 pandemic response. Apart from that, the Asian Development Bank regular funding program to India is made to support transport, urban development, finance, agriculture, skills building. And also, Asian Development Bank project portfolio in 2021 reflected the India's government focus on transforming cities into economically vibrant and sustainable communities. The USD 4.6 billion was committed by Asian Development Bank for 17 loans. The USD 1.8 billion COVID-19 relating assistance include USD 1.5 billion for the vaccine and the USD 300 million to strengthen the primary health care in urban area and the country's future pandemic preparations. Okay, so now question number nine. Who was recently cancelled Mumbai Khadi and Village Industries Association that is Khadi certification? So the correct answer of this question is option B that is Khadi and Village Industries Commission. So recently the Khadi and Village Industry Commission has cancelled the Khadi certification of its oldest Khadi institution name as Mumbai Khadi and Village Industries Association. So basically the Mumbai Khadi and Village Industry Association was running the popular Khadi Emporium at Metropolitan Insurance House, Mumbai since 1954. So basically, the Khadi Village Industry Commission has cancelled the license of Mumbai Khadi and Village Industry Association as a later has started selling fake Khadi products which was against the zero tolerance policy of Khadi Village Industries Commission policy against the sale of non-Khadi products. Okay, so now last question. What is the name of India's first AI-powered job portal for the disabled people? So, the correct answer of this question is option A, that is Swaraj Ability. So, recently the Indian Institute of Technology 
also known as IIT Hyderabad, has launched the beta version of Swaraj Ability, a job portal powered by artificial intelligence that helps people with disabilities acquire relevant skills and find job. The platform will analyze the profiles of the job seekers and suggest the skills they have would require to become eligible. It, so basically, it is a platform that addresses this challenge would help this vulnerable section of the population. Okay. So that's it for today. I hope you like this session. This were the important news and events for today, which are related to the business, economics, and financial sector. We meet again with the some more important current affairs. Till then, stay tuned. Thank you so much for watching, and please do not forget to subscribe GK today.